Hey guys, welcome out to the next stop on today's episode, Caveman Keys and Yabby Hunter. We're going to take you out to Bundanoon, one of the beautiful little campgrounds out in the Southern Highlands. And it's a magic little spot. We'll try and give you a bit of a tour of all the little areas. There's so much to see in this place. So you probably take a week to see all the things you want to see. Heaps of walks, eh, mate? Plenty of day walks, or we'll take a day there and back. Yeah, so there's probably six or seven walks, so you might want a week to, to take your time and explore. Remember might... to take your water. Oh yeah, definitely need water here. It's, um, it's, it gets quite warm during the day, and those rock escarpments can take it out of you. Some really steep climbs, mate, eh? Yeah, there is. Very. So we'll give you a campground rundown, and um, show you around the campsite and the rest of it, and our little setup, and we'll take you out some walks and um, see what we can find on today's next stop. Okay, let's go, hey day. Champion, out of here, guys. Well, hey day. What have we got? Oh, look at this, a little blue wren. A little superb fairy wren. How cool is that? Matt. Look at him. Awesome, mate. We're out at Bundanoon. Absolutely magic. Listen to a bit of Xavier Rudd, good country music from Australia. And here's the little hub. Got the eco flow, hard at work, running the fridge, TV, all our music systems, cameras, recharging everything. Mad. That's the way we roll, mate. Beautiful Erif coal mine walk down at Bundanoon. It's a ripper of a walk, this one. Beautiful little fairy bow falls here, too. Got a bit of sunshine out today. It's actually a pretty nice day out here. Out in the southern highlands, it's an actually a beautiful place. Not too cool at this time of year, not bad. Uh, just wandering down between the beautiful acacias, little tea trees, melaleucums, leptospernums, very beautiful little habitat down here. We'll take you down to the Fairy Bow Falls, land of beautiful rock escarpments, amazing Australian grass trees, Campbell's Rest down in the southern highlands, out of Bundanoon. One of the most gorgeous little walks you'll find. This goes down to Eroff Coal Mines and um, beautiful grass tree here, Australian grass tree. And um, here goes down to Fairy Bow Falls and the Eroff Coal Mine Walk. Very historical place out here. You've got to love Australia's historic trails. Magnificent. Another beautiful grass tree. They're gorgeous. And here's old Hado, having a look at that other grass tree. Beautiful Australian grass trees, mate, eh? Love them, beautiful. And there's some poo there, and that's, um, that's wombat poo. You can tell straight away because it's square. Wombats do a square poo. Very strange. Here we are. Beautiful air of coal mine. This is the air of coal mine walk, and there's the coal mines down there. Just magic. One of the most beautiful spots. Look at that. Mad little ravine, waterfall, and here comes the old mate Hado. Air of coal mines, baby. How cool is this, bro? This is the old cave. The cave man in his cave. Mad, eh, bro? Air of coal mines. And this is a walk down beautiful air of coal mine. And this is where they used to go, down in the coal mines. Wicked, eh, hey, Hado? Mad jabby hole down there, brother. 
here at Coal Mines with Haydo. Mad place, Haydo, eh? Loving it, mate. Got beautiful falls here, going all the way down to the Erif Coal Mine Walk. And there's all of these coal mines all around here. It's be one of the major coal mines. The colours of those beautiful rocks down there. Mad hey Dave, we love it, mate. And here we are watching Austin Stevens, and we've got a little mate here. Look at this. Little grey shrike thrush by the looks of him. Must have found some morsels on the ground somehow. We haven't even eaten yet, so it must have been from the campers before us. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got something there. It looks like a bit of pastry of some sort. How mad. <coughs> oh, yeah. Just watching a bit of Austin Stevens. Old Hado's getting himself a drink. And there's a the swag. And Haydo's tent there. That gives us a bit better look of the um, campsite and that. A comfortable little campsite. Key Haydo, out of Bundanoon. Cheers, brother. Mad. Massive green and gold, isn't it? Awesome to see all of the different sorts of waddles, different colours, banksias, grass trees sorts of iron barks in the background, gums, it's an amazing little area here, all the flowers are starting to come out too, all the wattles, it's a green and gold sea, just magic, the Aussie green and gold mate, yeah, we love the green and gold, yeah. at the end of the day this is what we get to see, Thunder Noon, Campbell's Rest. That's mad, hey, do we? Oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah, pure magic, Aussie magic out in the bush. Zoom across a bit. Oh, yeah. Beautiful rock and sandstone escarpments. That's mad. Hey mate, that's mad bro. That is. Long way down to Can near all the cockies down below there, eh? Yeah. Can actually see them down right down further down there. And here we have the echidna. It's uh one of our awesome little marsupials, the echidna. And he's just down, burrowed himself down in the grass, making himself look inconspicuous. So yeah, a beautiful echidna. Down at Gamble's Rest, doing a bit of spotlighting. Beautiful little animals, yeah. Here we have the echidna. Oh, it's a little bandicoot actually. A little great bandicoot. Awesome. Little southern brown bandicoot. Mad. Let's see if I can get in a little bit closer. Yeah, it's a southern brown. How awesome. Beautiful, beautiful animals, the southern brown bandicoot. Look at this mad little fella. Wombat. Australian wombat. Beauty too, isn't he? You just have a look up here. A bit of a tank, this guy. Absolute tank. Under noon wombat. Two in the morning. The wombat. Beautiful Australian marsupial, the wombat. Look at this bloke. Having a browse through the grass, a bit hungry. Built like a tank, these guys are. Absolutely magnificent. Big buff head on him. Look at him. An absolute ripper, this guy. 
out of Bundanoon, doing a bit of spotlighting. Yeah. And there he is. Beautiful little wombat. Oh man. Here we go. Brush tail possum up in the tree. How mad. So we've had bandicoots, we've had wombats, at least some grey kangaroos. Just beautiful. And here's the brush tail possum. It's a great night spotlight. And then we've had the echidna as well. So yeah, here's the brush tail possum here. Absolutely beautiful. Out of Bundanoon, full of wildlife, it's awesome. Just a great place. Plenty of wombats, echidnas, possums, bandicoots, eastern grey kangaroos, a lot of swamp wallabies and other wallabies. It's awesome. Mad trip. Caveman and Hado out at Bundanoon. Been an absolute ripper here. Bundanoon. Beautiful Bundanoon. Top spot. Top spot. At a Bundanoon in the morning, got a big bunch of kangaroos. Beautiful. Having a bit of a look at me, look at them all. And the morning expedition the kangaroos right in the campsite here. This is awesome to see. Gotta love the old ruse. One of our essential staples. <laughs> look at them all having a look at me. Okay. Awesome. Through the picnic areas. Okay. Well, this bloke having a look at me. Fella suss me out. Must think he's the boss. And creep up a bit. Ah, uh, there's a little Joey just there with the mum. How beautiful. So there's a little Joey. I'll be going back into his little pouch. Got all shy. Hey, the Joey got all shy. Actually, it looks like the Joey's having a little bit of a feed on the mother's milk there. How beautiful. There's the big male coming back over. I'm not going to hurt you, mate. There's a family. Absolutely beautiful, eh? Mum, Dad and the beautiful little Joey. Beautiful. So yeah, overall, Gamble's Rest and Bundanoon's got some cracker walks and a lot of them. Got, you'd be flat out covering them in a few yeah, days. The male bower bird. His bow is down there. I won't come too much closer than that, but you can see him. A cool eh? That's awesome. Decorating his bower. All of those little blue pieces of plastic and pegs and bottle caps and you name it. Trying to attract the females. Ah, oh, here we go. Some nice terrain down this way, isn't there? The Southern Highlands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keezy and Ado, the next stop. Showing you a bit of the, the country out here. Green and gold as far as the eye can see. 
absolute ripple in the sport out here, isn't it? But at Thunder Noon, going for a drive into the beautiful uh, Sierra of coal mine. But, um, we're going to take you a bit further up. We've had a look at the coal mines already. So, something a bit further up here. It's a um, bit of a cliff top effort and a lookout from what I can remember. And we're just taking it easy because there's a lot of wildlife around here. Don't want to plough anything down. Magic. Check this out. Mad look out here. Out of Bundanoon, Gamble's Rest. A real great spot. If you want to do some camping, it's an absolute ripper. And this is the Grand Canyon lookout. Oh, magic. Not bad, hey -do. Hey, that's a double tier, isn't it? Got like two tiers of big rock escarpments. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, this place is off tap. Yeah, this is a Grand Canyon lookout. We're out here on the next stop with Hado and Caveman. Magic, brother. Hey. It goes a lot further down, mate. Oh, it does, mate. It goes heaps yeah, further down. It's all as bad, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's Koozie and Hado having a ripper time at Thunder Noon. There's Hado over here. How mad's that, Hado? What have you seen there, buddy? Okay, we'll just go down to Hado and see what he's seen down here. But yeah, this is a Grand Canyon lookout, and it's massive. Monstrous, monstrous cliffs, and they just stretch for as far as the eye can see. It's just magic here. Okay, let's see what Hado's spotted over here. Mad Hado. It's a top spot here, isn't it, mate? Yeah, Hado's just exploring around the edges here. Oh, this is magic. And there's a track that goes down the bottom there too. Yeah. How awesome's that, mate? But that's just massive. Look at that fence, but that's just a drop. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, mate. That looks like a good look out there too, eh? Might have to suss that out. Absolutely love that. I mean, not, not a real far walk, this one. Just off the back of the Grand Canyon track. Absolutely magnificent. So I'll take you a bit further down here. Down the track. The Foon Glen Walk. Pure magic on the next stop with Caveman Keys and Hado. Champion. As it comes, mate, that terrain. Pure magic. So this is Gamble's Lookout, coming down to the um, to the Grand Canyon Lookout, just below the Grand Canyon Lookout, Over, overlooking the same Grand Canyon, massive, massive canyon this, an absolute bottler, uh, should open up here, give us a good look. Oh yeah, you can see how far down this does go now. Wow, that is insane. That's mad, bro. Yeah, feel vertigo, eh? Yeah, dizzy, like vertigo. Yeah, it's monstrous. The Grand Canyon. Living up to its name as well. Awesome, having a ball at the Grand Canyon with Kesey and Haydo. Bobby Dazzler, man. One of our best, this place. Oh, yeah, doesn't it get you with that vertigo, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, I know, look straight over the edge. I don't like heights, bro. I wouldn't be standing here if there wasn't a fence here. Ah, yeah. Especially with the wind. Looks like there's a king parrot up here. The looks of it in that big hollow. How cool is that, hey, though? Oh yeah, definitely, man. If we can get in a bit close, huh? Oh, yeah. 
trees, definitely. There was another one further up the tree somewhere, I think. What's a mad crimson rosella? Look at those colours. Absolutely metallic blues on the cheeks. One of my favourite birds. Absolutely love the crimson rosella. Oh, beautiful. Lovely little spot here called Fern Glen. We can get in a bit closer. Absolutely beautiful. This is Fern Glen. As you can see plenty of beautiful ferns. Nice little waterfall. All sorts of moss and ferns around the place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Magic bro, eh? Yeah, yeah Fern Glen. And that's where we're exploring today. Out at Bundanoon. We're doing the big loop track and um, seeing what we can find. That's just gorgeous, hey, do eh? Amazing. So I hope you enjoy the show. It's been an absolute ripper, and this place is amazing. Spectacular waterfalls, the Grand Canyon, that was awesome. Some of the lookouts there, Gamble's Lookout, and um, Fairy Bower Falls, Erif Coal Mines, it's just got the lot here, hasn't it, Ada? And there we go. Beautiful Fern Glen. Kuzi and Hado on the next stop. The magic of Fern Glen. A gorgeous day out here at Bundanoon. Really, if you like camping and you like adventure <coughs> and scenic beauty off tap, it's a gorgeous little spot here. Fern Glen. Okay, I'll take you a bit further down the track. Bit of a precarious track, this one. As the yabby hunter boots his way through the bush and disappears into the ferns of Fern Glen. Bunda noon, an absolute ripper. So we head off to the next attraction. It was the Grand Canyon Walk. Okay, we'll check out Toos Lookout and the cliff climb track at Bunda noon Creek. Off we go, me and Hado. Trees may fall. And they do. Bang! Yeah, this one's a fair bit of a hike, but um, we'll take you down to... Um... Mainly because it's very steep. Oh yeah, that's it, man, it is. Um, we'll take you to Tooth's Lookout, and um, yeah, then we'll take you to Fairy Bower Falls. But um, yeah, let's head off down the, the track here and see what we can find. This beautiful habitat down here, isn't it, bro? The green and gold colours of Australia are so prevalent. It's great to see. A lot of different mad um, flora species down here too. Oh yeah, yeah. Could e easily end up um, coming to mischief on these rocks. Oh, a lot of loose rocks. Oh, look at this. Two look out. Another look out here, and it's just amazing. This is the Grand Canyon. Not the one in America, this is the Australia's Grand Canyon. And, um, it's magnificent. Absolutely beautiful, just stretches on and on in the distance. Up there, you can see. Magic. Spectacular spot. Vast. Massive man. Bit of a precarious track this one. As you can read there, slippery rocks, drowning risk, and um, unfenced cliff edges. So yeah, we'll take a walk down here. Steep track system, Bundanoon Creek, 1.9 Ks. Almost straight downhill too. So, pure magic. We we'll just have a quick look down here. Crystal clear waters. Out of Bundanoon. Absolutely beautiful out here. You can see. Just awesome. Look at the clarity of that gorgeous water. 
just amazing. So yeah, we're just out here at this beautiful little running waterway. And it's out at um, Fairy Bower Falls, out at Bundanoon. Just a great little area. See, magic temperate rainforest. This little waterway just nestled in. Gorgeous, eh? Hey mate, I like how the um, stream has made its own little um, indentation into the rocks here. That's so cool, eh? It's made its own little path down through the water, down through the rocks. Hey, it looks cool, that, eh? Look at the little um, waterway it's, it's formed by itself. Dappled sunlight just coming through those beautiful ferns. And, um, what a beautiful little water hole this is. This is spectacular. It's magical. Oh so yeah, great little water hole. And we'll continue on the journey just up this way. And we'll have a look at the uh, lookout at Fairy Bower Falls. That's gorgeous, eh? In the middle of summer, mate, that'll be just spectacular. Gorgeous, clear, clean water. And look at that, mad little waterfall flowing in. That's magic. Truly spectacular. What it's all about. Just hard to beat, mate. The beauty of a mad waterway. And this is the top of Fairy Bower Falls. Just amazing. Temperate rainforest at its best. Testing some of the local flora. It's absolutely amazing. Beautiful, beautiful plants. No, um, it's all different varieties and colours, but um, it's absolutely spectacular. Let's see, oh, yeah. massive rock escarpments up the top. This place is beautiful. So many varieties of colours in this even this particular plant. You can see this one's a little bit different colour. Yeah. Be on the plant there. Mad set. Beautiful. Kraken plant species out here. Precarious rock formations. You can see um a lot of them are ready to fall. And, um, just mad. Look at the coloration there. And as we look out over the Grand Canyon, it's magnificent mate. Spectacular. Hey hey though. And me and Heyday just come underneath this little under cliff walk here. Have to walk under the cliffs and stuff. And there it is. Australia's Grand Canyon. Spectacular. Koozie and Hado on the next this little under cliff walk here. Magic. The views are just to die for here too. They're gorgeous. Just a mad Grand Canyon out here. Bunda Noon. Grand Canyon Wall. That's just magnificent. And the see down here, with this under cliff walk. Walk underneath the, the cliff sections here. Real enjoyable walk it is out here. A lot of animals and a, a lot of um a lot of scenic attractions out here. Spectacular, really is. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. Australia, right, here we are. Cliff. We haven't done all yeah, Boocham Cliffs, view. Bonnie View, and um, Echo Point. We haven't done those. We got daylight view one of them. Ah, we'll probably be able to manage this. Huh? We'll be able to do it. It's a great drive, eh? On the lookout for wildlife. 
We've seen a lot this time down here. It's been a real good trip. So we'll definitely be coming back up this way. Yeah, it's got a train station right near Bundanoon and it's actually you know, right in Bundanoon. Yeah. Bundanoon is the train station. Yeah, basically in the bakery. Did and you just name the land first? They sold it apparently or something. Population decreased when they finally made a road. That's it. In the, inside the um hollow log here, how cool is that? This guy. See him there having a look around. How wicked's that? Heard him. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful little animal. And it was one of the most incredible moments witnessing this little guy going about his business. The beautiful Australian echidna, one of our unique, iconic animals here in Australia. Absolutely beautiful, cute little fella. And um, he's having a bit of a scratch on his hollow log. And it looks like his little hollow log where he likes to get a feed from the termites and ants like to get in there and feed on the, all the little ants so yeah he's just having a look outside the entrance of his little hollow log unreal to see these guys and they're a very shy retiring creature they feel threatened at all these guys just like to burrow into the ground and you've got buckleys are getting them out of the ground they're um, a very strong robust animal with them big claws, you can probably see those claws there, they're not toes, they're actually claws, massive, massive claws, he doesn't know what he's doing, he's just having a bit of a rub and a scratch on his back there, having a bit of a look out here, saying hello caveman, beautiful looking animal aren't they, one of my very favourite iconic Australian animals, That long snout gets right into the little ant's nest and termite nest. One incredible animal they really are. And here he is, having a good old scratch out the back there. He's got a perfect little spot here with about three entrance holes into this hollow log here. I'll try and get you some, um, some footage of him on the other side of the log as well. Beautiful, beautiful Australian animal. And this is why we come out here to see things like this. It's just incredible. But oh, check this guy out. Off he takes to his hollow. And here he is here. Burrowing around. Listen to those claws digging in. They're mad. Nosy little fella, aren't you? Beautiful. How magic's that, bro? Hey? Eh? One of my favourite little um, Australian iconic animals, mate. Hey? Eh? They're magic. Absolutely beautiful. Wandering his way out. And pretty good. He's just coming out of this hollow log, this guy. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. You kidding me? Yeah. He's having a look back in the hollow log. Oh, yeah. Zoom back and see if we can get inside the hollow log again. How well it'll pick this guy up. Yeah, there he is just here. Inside the hollow log. Gidna. They're a beautiful little creature, aren't they? 
That's a gentle, beautiful. Come here with it, right? Come right here with it, slowly. Perfect. Wicked, bro. I think these sides he might come out the other side here. Does he? Beautiful swamp wallaby. Hi. See some birds of prey flying around here. Mad. Here we have the Australian red wattle bird out having a feed from the blossoms out on the gum trees here. Beautiful bird. See that beautiful yellow under the chest. That gorgeous patterning. Got these little red bags on the side under their cheek. The red bottle bird. So next stop on this program we go to um, Beecham's Cliffs. So we'll have a, have a look out at Beecham's Cliffs. Tato over there. So, been a cracker of a day. And we've been running around everywhere. There's so many things to do and see in this place. It's absolutely incredible. It's actually, when it comes down to um, the, the scenery and the things that you can do in this place and see, the landmarks, there's not many places I've seen that have got anything close to this. It's, um, yeah, it's definitely got a lot going for it out at Bundanoon. Campbell's Rest. Massive rock escarpments and cliffs. It's no wonder they call this place the Grand Canyon. The whole in the whole Grand Point Lookout and Mount Carnarvon Lookout this way. And we've got Bonnie View via Lover's Walk. So here. Hey, well, down there, well, yeah. <laughs> it's me and Haydo going on the walk, so we definitely won't be going via Lover's Walk. So we're heading on down this way. Come on, Haydo. <laughs> Echo Point look out here. This is just massive, isn't it? Massive this place, eh? The Grand Canyon that I look for here. This is wicked man. So vast, isn't it? Expansive. Vast. Expansive. Because I'm a horse in the right. Austin Stevens, and we're no normal people. That's just ridiculous, eh? Sounds pretty mad, man, eh? I've got to say. Right. And yeah, just rough. thanks heaps, dude. What's your name, man? Andy. Andy. Great job, mate. Hey, just oh, great I to think hear I that. Ah, yeah. uh, the last night before heading back from Bundanoon. It's been a ripper trip. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And um, subscribe and like the channel. Um, and I'll see you next time, eh? Wingtail possum up the tree.
beautiful. Mad colour of the ringtail. 